Hey guys, in this video, let's learn for loop in Python and the syntax is involved in for loop in Python. Let's get started. Myself Rakesh, I welcome you back to my channel. Guys, please do subscribe to my channel and please do support. And also you can hit on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest content that I upload on my channel. With that, let's get started and understand for loop. We'll take a very simplest example. Let's learn with the simplest example. Let's say if I write for a in and I'm going to say in double quote Python. And then after that, you have to use a colon mark. Do not forget the colon mark and say print and I'm going to print a. So what is what what is what exactly this is doing? So here a stands for a variable. Can I write any other variable like a, b, c, d, anything you like you can enter. Doesn't matter. So this is a variable in Python. So it is going to search one one item in Python. So it's going to print p, it's going to print y, t, h, o, n like that and it's going to print. So let's get a practical example. So what I do, I hit on this button and they'll get a, they will get a breakpoint. Hit on run so that we can see how this is working okay and then we can hit on debug with my file name that i have i'm hitting on debug okay hit on console and let's see how the output is getting printed okay hit on the console and now i am going to um, you know hit on f8 key so what is happening the moment i hit on f8 key the first line number 2 got executed and at this time the value of a is p so it is picking the first alphabet from the word p and now the moment if i hit on f8 the second line the th sorry the third line will get executed and it should print p here let me hit on f8 so what happened this line got executed and it is printing p now it went to the second line once again because it is in a loop right it's in a for in loop so it's going to the second line so if i hit on the second line will get executed once again now after execution what is the value y so it is picking one value at a time and this time if i hit on f8 it is going to execute the print and is going to type y so whatever the value was there in y got printed okay like likewise let me do f8 if i do it it is finally going to print the complete thing okay you can see it has printed python so this is understood okay let me give you one more example okay what i will do um, instead of this what if i write uh, a list for example 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 so there are five different values right so what what this will do this is going to print 1 2 3 4 5 let me run it okay if i run it what happened the output has come 1 2 3 4 5 right let's say i would like to print it in a different way all i i taught you in the last video and equals to and i give a space couple of spaces whatever you like run like this so it is going to print in this format one two three four five in a single line okay so this is understood how the loop is working it is just picking one item from it could be a string it could be a list it could be a dictionary it could be a tuple it could be a set it could be anything doesn't matter for example let me uh, make it a set so you know set right it cannot have a duplicate values inside this so all this i have explained so if i run it again is going to print one two three four five if i make it to a tuple which can have duplicate values but always kept in order so you can see it is printing so this one we understood i mean how the for loop works we understood now there are a couple of more things what if instead of me printing a what if i print uh, something else let's say print uh, i would like to print my channel name automate let me print my name that's it okay so so how many times it will print one two three four five it is printing five times what if are you going to read like you know are you going to write a code like this to print something five times no is there a is there a smart way to do this rakesh here there's a smart way or what you do remove this and uh, there is a sin uh, there is a function called built-in function called range so in, I will use range and here I am going to provide, okay, I have to print it five times or six times, let's say five times I want to print. So if I hit on run, what would happen? It's going to print, okay, I forgot the colon mark, okay, put the colon and then you can see it has printed one, two, three, four, five times. Okay, it is, so this is the smart way. Now let me also show you what happens, okay. This range actually starts from, do you know, it always starts from uh, zero till 4 it runs 
I mean the index the, it is an indexing it will start from 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 so how do I know all I do if I if you hit on if you type a and try to execute it is going to type the value that is going to a uh, sorry because I put a double quote let me simply write a and if I execute what is happening the value when I when you say range right when you say range the first value is assigned as 0 then assigned 1 then 2 then 3 dot then 4 this is clear okay what if uh, let's say I would like to print till 100 okay I want to print till 100 so you will say range 100 and I want to print in in, in a probably a single line I'll say end equals to um, I'll give some space okay now if I hit on run what would happen this is going to print 0 1 2 3 4 and it has printed till 100 in single line if you see okay so it's too much to see but again uh, so it did not print 100 because I, as I said 100 will it will it'll only start from 0 till 99 so until 99 it has printed if you want it to be printed till 100 then write 101 and execute and it will print from 0 to 100 okay it always starts from 0 okay so this one uh, we understood and now what if I would like to print from a specific range let's say I would like to print from 10 to uh, 20 so I, what I would say 10 till 20 I would like to print so instead of saying 20 I should say 21 right one extra number I'll give and if I run this what is happening um, it should sorry it should be a comma okay 10 comma 21 and execute so what is happening it has printed from 10 to 20 okay this is also very useful if you want to you know you use it in in, in, a, in a situation where you would like to do like this this is very useful what if uh, I would like to 10 to 60 uh, but it should jump 5 5 I mean 10 it should first print 10 then it should print 15 then it should print so I am giving a difference of 5 by putting one more comma if I run this if you see the output would come 10 then 15 then 20 then 25 30 35 40 45 50 so like that is coming right so this will be also be very useful when you know the, how this syntax is work okay so a lot of things you have learned now let's say can I use a else with for loop can I use a else uh, command yes you can do it let me hit on the backspace and type else else um, so once it is done I want to say uh, program ended something like that okay so if I execute what would happen after doing its job it will simply it will come to the else block right and it should print program end it right okay so I should say print no print okay now let's execute so what is happening it is saying program ended getting it so this is how things can work this is how you can design your own thing um, right so I want it to appear in the next line so how, how should I do it do you know if I say slash n and try to run it you can see it has appeared in the below line so you should not give a space so let me remove a space so it has come in the bottom line so all these things you can design okay so once you go through all my videos you will learn the small small tricks and techniques which would really help you to build python programs so thank you guys for watching we are going to once again come up with more such contents which is going to help you improve your knowledge on python so thank you guys uh, as I requested you hope you have already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and please hit on the bell icon guys to stay up to date thank you take care bye bye